Hello, hello, hello. I come to you today in the precious and mighty name of the Son of God, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ. I bring a prophetic word that was given to me today, Friday, February the 13th, 2015. And I just want to say this real quick. God loves you. I don't care what you've done in the past. I don't care how you feel about yourself. I don't care what people say about you. God loves you. The Son of God loves you. He died for you and rose again for you. The Holy Spirit loves you. The angels of God love you. Your brothers and sisters love you. No more pity party. No more time for that. Pick yourself up. Ask the Lord to strengthen you in the areas where you're weak. It's time to be a warrior in Christ. I always say, yeah, God is looking for, yes, special forces soldiers. He's not looking for uh, soldiers that are behind the uh, cafeteria line serving food. They have a purpose. God is calling for special forces soldiers in this time to wage war against our enemy, the devil and his minions. So it's not about your title because if you go to Mark, I believe that's Mark 16 starting at verse 17, Jesus said, these signs will accompany them that believe. In my name they will cast out devils, they will take up serpents, they will speak in new tongues, if they drink any deadly thing will not harm them, they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. He didn't say you have to be a bishop, a pastor, or anything. He said you have to believe. You see, our faith can tear down the walls of the enemy. Our faith can release healing into our lives. Our faith can move the hand of God to destroy the works of the enemy. Our faith, that's right, it's our faith that causes God to move. So if you're lacking in faith today, seek the Lord. Seek him now. Just ask him, Father, increase my faith today. Nevertheless, without further ado, here's the word. And I want you to be encouraged by this word. I believe it's for our encouragement today. In Jesus' name, amen. My children, in the midst of preparing for an earthly wedding, does not the bride plan? Does she not get fitted for her beautiful dress and shining shoes? And does she not spend hours to get her hair as the radiant sun glistening with beauty? Will not the wedding be at a beautiful location with all the adornments, the food and drink prepared to the delight of the entire party? And so many of you dedicate time and effort to, I'm sorry. And so many of you dedicate time and effort to prepare for an earthly wedding. But I ask you, saith the Lord, are you prepared for the heavenly wedding? Have you been fitted with your heavenly attire? Is the blood of Jesus Christ running through your spiritual veins? Are you spotless and without blemish, looking with great excitement and expectation for the wedding of the Lamb? I'm returning so very soon. Do you not behold the signs? Even in the midst of darkness, I say, rejoice and be exceedingly glad. I'm coming for you, my lovely bride. Yes, Yeshua HaMashiach, your king, your bridegroom. And I ask you again, will you say yes, Jesus? Amen, Lord Jesus. I say yes, 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 in the name of Jesus. May you be blessed today. Amen.